What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, fam? I do apologize, guys. I ain't get a chance to make a video yesterday. I left. I did dash. I left yesterday, man. And uh, I forgot my camera. And then I st end up, I wasn't going back home because it was so busy. They were giving money away. And uh, I didn't get a chance to get back and make a video. But... This is going to be a short video, man. I ain't get off till 5 o'clock this morning, man. We had a lot of stuff happen on the job, a lot of drama. Um, and we end up getting out there late. So. But today is uh, Forgiveness Friday, man. I ain't got nobody to forgive, man. God going to have to forgive me today, man, because I'm going to work with a good attitude. So. But, family, what don't make you will break you, man. Uh, but I'm doing great, man. We got an order, a Chick-fil-A order. We're going to do a couple more orders. Uh, me and the wife, we got to go take care of some business today. So we're gonna, I'm going to do a couple more orders. I apologize how high my camera up. I had to jiggy-rig it. You know what I mean? But other than that, family, how you doing? Today is Forgiveness Friday, family. You either had to forgive somebody or ask somebody to forgive you. I'm not in a forgiving mood today, so I... I'm just gonna have to skip over the day, you know. I don't went the straight. I don't give a damn Saturday today. I'm telling you, man. God, I feel so bad for the new person that we got working for us, man. He got seventy something. Well, he got seventy. Well, I think it was sixty-seven hours he ended up with his first week. <laughs> yes, sir. Got coming to the border, man. You got five more hours, man. I was like, man, if you watch that time, it's gonna be real slow, though. He was like, man, I don't, you know, I don't know what's going on, man. But this, this, this just crazy, man. So I told him, I said, look, man, don't look at the time. You look at the time, man. It's gonna go slow. It went slow for him. Hey, man, I thought we had five hours. Like, man, go ahead, man. Pretty sure they told you we work a lot of hours. They probably didn't. But yeah, we work a lot of hours, man. God told me, he said, can I use you for a reference? I said, man, you don't need to do that, baby. All you got to do is get online and apply. You will have a job uh, in a couple days. <laughs> we not, we not playing. We hiring everybody. That could be a good thing. Could be a bad thing. But they say, if you shop, if you go fishing in a pond of piranhas, likely you're not going to catch anything because they're going to eat your bait. So we got to watch where we stick our fishing rod at. You know what I mean? All right, guys, man, I ain't been here in a while. I'm going to our um, DoorDash headquarters. Not the headquarters itself, but... Um, Going in the building that house our headquarters. Turn left on Hidden River Parkway. I should run in here and get a red card, but I don't think I need it because I barely use my red card, man. I barely use it, man. I'm talking about I might have used it twice since I had it. Well, not twice. Probably about four times since I had it. Maybe six. I don't know. Yeah. But, man, I tell you, man. Oh, the army guy I met at Chick-fil-A today, man. I forgot to say to you, uh, thank you for, you know, the job that you do working in the military. Thank you for, you know, making life easy on, on this side for me. So I appreciate your service. So definitely that. I ain't get a chance to tell you. So I appreciate you too, man. All right, guys. So we're going here and drop this order off. Yesterday morning was busy, man. I set my goal, but I didn't hit my goal because I had, I had so much to do, man. I had so much going on. Turn left. All right, so we're setting the goal. today for the full time is 160 since it's Friday. Hopefully, it's payday. And uh, let's do 84 um, part-timers. 
You working part time, man. Your goal is eighty dollars. Let's get this money, man. You feel me? Get it. Oh. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Oh, see you in a minute. I'm back, family. Oh, I tell you, this not gonna be the full video, man. I just wanna get out here and let y'all know I'm okay. I'm wearing this uh, pink shirt for my girl, Benit, 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 Benita. God, I can't even talk, man, I'm so tired. Benita, this shirt for you, baby girl. Anybody that's suffering from any type of cancer or, you know, been diagnosed with cancer, the October is uh, breast cancer and awareness month. So please, guys, let's continue to keep my girl Benita on the uh, prayer list. Her and her family, they going through some things right now. So we need to uplift her and uh, encourage her so she can stay healthy. And, uh, you know, we want God to heal her body. So definitely going to put her on the prayer list. Uh, you probably hear me mention this every day. So please, just say a nice little prayer for Benita. Just ask the Lord to heal her body. If anything wrong with it, take it away. All right, family. Oh, my God, man. I'm so tired. Let's see. We went at 3.30. No, we had to be there at 3 o'clock. Five hours. So, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. 5, 6, 7. Fourteen hours, fourteen and a half hours yesterday. Wow. We was getting it in, though. When I say we was getting it in, we was getting it. Oh, come on, come on, come on, you turn. Uh oh. And we supposed to have been done. The sad part about it, we supposed to have been done at um, two thirty. Some stuff kicked off, and we end up getting done later. All right, we're going to Bob Evans for seven dollars and uh, thirty-seven cents. Uh, guys, like I tell you, man, if you don't do morning, man, you're crazy, man. <laughs> you're crazy, man. You get that morning money, man. I love starting the people day off, man. I get I, every, every bad rating I have, not all of them. I'm gonna say. 95% of my bad ratings that I used to get, because I'm pretty good, uh, used to come from night shift, man. Working nights. And the only reason why is because the people are already in a bad mood. They done had a bad day. Somebody done pissed them off. And you, you're the subject of the, that. that um, you become the subject now. You could be on time. Food can be piping hot, man. And uh, they give you a bad rating. I'm trying to see what my ratings is. Customer service to me is the most important thing out of everything, man. All right, so I had one. I don't know why they got this up here, but here's my um my rating. I don't know if y'all can see that. But I had one person say they didn't get their food, but my um, customer service rating is almost five. You know what I mean? And I, I done did over, I don't know how many. Uh, well, y'all know I had to start this app back up, but I'm at 43 with a 4.9 customer rating. You know what I mean, man? So you can't beat that with a stick, man. So I try to tell customers. When you're carrying a good, high customer service rating, and when they call in for um, stuff that they know you're not capable of, or, you know, they know you didn't do it, man, they don't pay that no mind. They be like, nah, we ain't, we ain't play that. This man carrying a 4.92, he ain't, do, he ain't say that. <laughs> that's what I like to think, but they don't think like that, man. So that's what, uh, they activate you in the heartbeat. All right, fam, be right back. I'm back, fam. That didn't take long. Uh oh, I got a. Oh, I got a message here. Man, stop sending me stuff, man. If I want money, y'all wouldn't give me no money. 
keep getting these texts that, you know, you can get money, this and that. Man, I don't want no money, nothing like that. Oops. All right, family. I'm glad I got my coffee. I got a 15, man. Hey, I wanna also I wanna say a belated birthday to my man Bakari friend Jesse. It's very rare that you have a a, a, a best friend these days. Uh, you know, a lot of people have friends, but I appreciate the love. I watched the video, Bakari man touched me, man, made me think about my homeboy Bernard, man. Uh, so Jesse, happy belated birthday, man. Uh, I love them Jordans, man. I mean them Kobe's, my bad. I ain't mean to disrespect you, Kobe. Rest in peace. Sorry, because you know, Jordan is my man, but I I, I love them um Kobe's that he got you, man. Them thing was pretty, man. And the blue pills. <laughs> the energy pills. Y'all don't start taking your mind nowhere else. Man got the man some energy pills, man. He just turned 35. Or 34. I think it was 34. But happy birthday, Jesse, from your boy Kingfish, man. Hey, Bakari, man, keep doing what you're doing, man. God, God got plans for you, man. You got a big heart, man. I would have bought him a picture of those Kobe and signed it for him. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, though. Those things look very expensive, man. You cannot put a price tag on friendship and family. I keep telling people that. Man. If I could buy my best friend a house, I would. I know he feel the same way. <laughs> Bernard probably said, no, nah, I ain't buying you no house, but you know, I give you the key, the spare key to my house. But I like I like saying stuff like that, Bacar. Keep doing what you're doing, Bacar. I love your blogs, man. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing, man. We definitely appreciate you. So if you haven't seen Bakari uh, video, please swing over there. Just click on his name under um, any comment under any of my videos, and it'll take you straight to his YouTube channel. Just click on videos and watch some of the man videos, man. He can ball, man. You know? The boy's a true baller, man. Him and his little cute little husky dog. I can't get no dogs. I got 900 ducks, six squirrels. I don't know how many white birds I have. I mean, it's like Animal Kingdom. Now, my, you know, soon my wife gonna be feel, feeding all the lizards out there. She made the squirrel peanut butter sandwich. She cut them in strips. Squirrels come to the door, man. You come outside. Ah! Squirrel, they're like this. My wife's like, watch out. I gotta go feed the squirrels. Just push me right out of the way, feed the squirrel, give them the food, man. They go down there, come back up, boom, 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 boom. I mean, oh my God, I was like, oh Jesus. They come right up to her, man. As soon as she get out the car, squirrels, ducks, and birds come right to her. She's a duck whisper, bird whisper. I don't know what to do, man. It's getting costly, though. It's costly. You know? I don't mind the peanut butter. I ain't eat peanut butter in a while, man. But. Feeding the animals are very costly. God forbid one get hurt, I might have to take it to the vet. You know? That's the mother instincts in us, so I, I, I ain't gonna bother, man. If she happy, I'm happy. That's what make her happy, man. So as long as she happy, I'm happy. I can't make a woman happy, but I sure can sustain it. My message to women today, if you're looking for a man to make you happy, man, you can hang it up, man. Find your happiness. You find you a good man to sustain your happiness. You will be just fine. You'll be married before you know it. Compromise and patience get you through it. A lot of years of marriage. I ain't even charge y'all for that. I just want y'all to know. That was a freebie. Alright, so where we going at? That's, that's gonna be my last one I do. Uh, man, the wife, we got a point. I got one more week, guys. I'll be getting my glasses, man. I had picked out a frame 
I, you know, I just wanted something light, but my wife said it was too Walmart brand. So she made me put them back, but she ain't made me. And then her and the, the, the eye doctor, another young lady, Miss Amy, one of the best eye doctors in the world, they team up and, and pick out me glasses, you know? I'm like, hold on, guys. I don't need y'all to... I'm grown. I'm 50 years old. I, I use that for everything now. I'm 50 years old. I don't need y'all to give me no glasses. I, I can pick my own... Boy, shut up and sit down. I shut up and sat down. They went and picked me out some nice glasses. You know, here's what it is. So the other day, I, we had groceries. And I had to buy, you know, some water. I, I took... I took my bags upstairs, and my wife, I waited till she went down. When she went down, I sat on the couch, cut the TV on, put my foot up. She came back in. She said, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, well, I'm 50 years old. Doctor said, I only can carry four bags. You may have to get the water. She said, boy, I, I <laughs> She told me she's going to bust me to the white meat. I'm going to get out there and get the rest of them bags. <laughs> so I use, now that I'm 50, I use it for everything. So don't be surprised, guys. You get 50. Use my technique. Because you're getting old. We live to die. Our, our, our plan is to be born. You know, you have a choice whether you want to live right or live wrong. And if you live wrong, there's everlasting life in the other world, you know. But you have a plan. Your map is already your. Um, Life is already mapped out. You just got to get in your lane, man. Some of us keep doing U-turns or going backwards. Once you find your lane, man, life is beautiful, man. I ain't lying, man. Life is beautiful. Can't get into that too much about that, but life is beautiful, man. God is good. First, I want to thank the Lord for waking me up this morning. I don't know if I said that, but it's truly a blessing to be on this earth talking to you guys one more again. You know what I mean? Because next year I'm going to be a little older. I'm not going to be able to remember everything this year. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm preparing for the oldness that's coming upon me. Turn right on North but right now we're going to deliver this food, baby. Ah. We, we almost here. We're 10 minutes away. Yeah, this is going to be definitely my last order. So this is going to be a very short video, guys. I do apologize. I'll be back tomorrow strong. You know? Tomorrow we got travel leave, so I have to... Um, I have to start early, but yeah, man. Be back strong, man. Definitely that. so good man this guy was about the guy that just passed in the light blue this guy was about 500 pounds he could barely walk man and he's walking every day and he's looking good man so shout out to my man man keep doing what you're doing when you want something in life guys and you really want it you'll go get it man you gotta have that mentality man 500 pounds i don't know i ain't, I ain't, I ain't Walking every day, man. I'm not, man. I'm lazy, man. I don't even like walking, getting up in the morning. I don't look lazy, but I'm very lazy, guys. I'm very lazy. Instead of me getting up, getting the remote, I put the remote on the carpet, a little rug carpet that we have. And then when I don't feel like getting up, I just slide the carpet. The, the carpet towards me to get the remote. Man, I'm very lazy, man. I'm stupid lazy. Okay, boost me down. Okay, we're going to take it. My bad, man. I wasn't checking. Brake checking you. He looked at me like I was brake checking. When you do defensive driving, 
when you always looking in your mirrors and making sure everybody and yourself is straight, you see a lot of things, man. Because I was looking because I had to hit my brakes suddenly and I looked back, I could see the guy like throwing his hand up like I'm brake checking him. I wasn't brake checking. I don't do the brake check unless I really have to. I don't like when nobody do it to me. I'm gonna tell you, family, I was drinking some coffee. See, back then, McDonald's had coffee, right? They had the best coffee. But the only problem they had with their coffee is that it'd be 400 degrees hot. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. McDonald's had coffee that boils. I think they boil their coffee because it's always hot, you know? So I used to drink McDonald's coffee. And one day, man, I'll never forget in the morning, I was going to work, man. I ain't lying. I was going to work. I was flying because I was running late. I had to get my car. I stopped at McDonald's, man. Back then, McDonald's was still for 24 hours. And my my thing was bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, hash brown, and coffee. I got the little meal. And I be eating and drinking while I'm driving. And I, and I know, and it was my fault. I was flying up on this, this um, person, man. It was like 5 o'clock in the morning. And I was going to go around him. But I couldn't go around him because a car was coming that way. Man, they brick check me, man. When I tell you that this is the reason why I don't brick check nobody, man, that coffee fell on my chest. Because I squeezed my cup and hit the brakes at the same time, man. It fell on me, man. I was out of work for like maybe a week. That's how bad I got burned, man. I couldn't sue McDonald's. Even though they had the hottest coffee in the world, I wasn't smart enough to sue them. But everybody else sued them. But make a long story short, that's why I don't break check nobody, man. Because your reaction is, is just it's horrible, man. It's a horrible feeling when you can't control. When you think you're about to run into the back of somebody. Now I'm thinking about insurance. I'm thinking about how much money I'm going to lose. I'm thinking about my car. Forgot I had hot, hot boiling coffee in my hand. But comment, guys, in the, in the what to call it, if you remember when the coffee used to be 100 degrees, 400 degrees at, at McDonald's, man. I mean, it used to burn your hand when they used to hand you the coffee. That's how hot it was. It wasn't the best coffee, but that was the only good spot back then before I fell in love with 7-Eleven um, coffee. I don't know why this Mustang don't see all these cops up here and he fine. I swear if we get pulled over, guys, I'm, I'm going to show it to y'all. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm just reminiscing because I'm tired. So if you just turning on the video, we going to Bob Evans. Well, we left Bob Evans. We going to drop the customers off. I'm two orders in, but I got a man and the wife got an appointment at 11, so I'm gonna have to stop. I just want to record, guys. Tell you guys, I miss you, love you. I'm wearing this pink for my girl, Benita, uh, Big Tim, uh, anybody that suffered or had anything to do with cancer, man. Your boy gonna support you all day this whole month. Uh, cancer patients is dead in my heart because I have so many friends that either recover from cancer or die from cancer, you know what I mean? All my friends are in the 60s and 70s. Uh, I don't have no close, close friend cl close to my, my age. I do have a Bessie at work, my big homie Darius. I don't know, man. If, if I ain't had a good friend like him at work, man, I don't know. I don't know where I'd be at, man. I ain't lying, man. Cause we call him preacher, cause he preach to you. Now he he's just full of knowledge and wisdom, man. You can talk to this brother, man. You can be having a bad day, man. He'll uplift you, you know. But if you cross him, you can, you better dot your eyes and cross your t's. This brother don't play, boy. When you wrong this brother, cause he love hard. You wrong this brother, you can hang it up, man. It's curtains? <laughs> hey, live. I'll be like, let it go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. He my road dog, though. At work, you know what I mean? But, family, I'm going to drop this off, man. I'm tired, man. I got to go, family. Um... Like I said, the goal for the day is 180. 
that's say no 160 160 for full-time 80 for part-time guys go get that money man get that money save that money spend it when you want to spend it and bakari once again man i appreciate the video man uh, i'm glad that you have a friend that look you look to like a brother man friendship brotherhood is is hard to come by these days when you get it don't lose it all right family with that being said this is your boy kingfish aka big Al. i'm out guys if you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing. You better get yourself some dashing grub, man. I feel like a, um, you know how you have a flashlight and that flashlight about to die when you really need it and it start going out? That's how I feel right now. I feel like I'm going out. So I got to go, family. Y'all have a great day. I love you. Continue to get that money. Hit them goals. Now you'll be all right. All right. Peace.